In this chapter, we will learn about the internet and web browser. Children, can you tell me some ways to interact with your friends and relatives rather than meeting them personally? Yes, it is possible via computer or smartphone. Your computer or smartphone can help you in this task only if it is connected to the respective device at the other end. Just as a road network connects various cities and towns, likewise, there exists a network that connects different computers with each other. This network is known as computer network. Let us have a glimpse on network of roads. Network of blood vessels in our body and a computer network. When the computer networks are joined together, they form a bigger network called the Internet. Internet connects millions of computers around the world. It revolutionized the whole world and made computer the most effective communication tools. The Internet not only contains huge variety of information, but also provides new ways of interacting and connecting with people. History of the Internet In 1969, when the man walked on the moon, the U.S. Defense Department set an advanced research project agency for further research. They designed a network of four computers to exchange and share their data. This network was called ARPANET, that is Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Later, many universities were allowed to join this network and share information. This was the beginning on networking of computers, which grew bigger day by day and gave birth to the Internet. Earlier the Internet was used by engineers, scientists, and computer experts for research purpose but gradually the network was made accessible to private agencies and the general public. People started using it for sending messages and files between two computers. Children, did you know, in India, the Internet services started on 15th of August 1995, through a government-owned company, VSNL, Videsh Sanchar Nigam Limited. Now let us learn the commonly used Internet terms. WWW, World Wide Web www refers to a network of websites on the internet which contains information in the form of text pictures animation and videos this information can be accessed by people all over the world web page a web page is a digital page of a website which may contain text images videos, audios etc. Home page The first page of a website is called the home page. It contains the main information about the accessed website along with the links to other web pages of the website. URL To visit any website, you need to know its address. Each website is identified by its unique address, which is known as the Uniform Resource Locator URL. The URL of any website is entered in the address bar of a web browser. Search Engine A search engine is a software that searches various web pages on the World Wide Web for a particular information. It requires a user to enter a keyword related to the information to be searched and displays the search result in the form of a list of links to the pages on which the keywords are found. Some examples of search engines are 
www.google.com www.yahoo.com and www.ping.com ISP ISP stands for Internet Service Provider An ISP is a company which provides the internet services to the users in exchange for free It provides services for accessing or using the internet Net surfing the act of searching on the World Wide Web by following one link after another, without a planned search strategy, is called net surfing. To connect your computer with the Internet, you need some hardware and software. First requirement is Modem Depending upon the choice and preferences, a user can have an external, internal, or PC card modem. The speed of a modem is measured in BPS. An internet connection is a service which an internet service provider provides, in exchange for a fee. This service is must for accessing the internet. Next requirement is a telephone line. It is a medium that is used to connect the computer to an internet service provider. Web Browser It is a software application or program that allows you to access web. Google Chrome is one of the most popular and widely used web browsers developed by Google. Some other well-known web browsers are Mozilla Firefox, Apple, Safari and Internet Explorer. Now let us see the parts of web browser. To open a web browser, double-click on the Google Chrome icon. Back Clicking on this button takes you back to the previous page that you had visited. Forward This will take you to the page that you were on before you press the back button. To view the next pages in a serial order, click on the forward button. Reload this page. Clicking on this button will reload the most recent version of the current page. Bookmark this page. This option allows the user to store and organize the chosen websites so that one can revisit them whenever needed. New tab. Clicking on this button allows you to open a web page in a new tab. Print. Clicking on this option prints a copy of the web page you are viewing. History. This option displays a list of websites you visited recently. Zoom. The zoom option allows you to increase or decrease the size of the content of a web page. More tools. Clicking on this option provides different options, like Save Page As, Clear Browsing Data, Task Manager, etc. Best Practices Related to Online Safety Protect your system by using antivirus. Antivirus is a program that protects your system against virus. It identifies, prevents and removes viruses from a computer. McAfee, Average, Quick Heal, Semantic, and Norton are some of the commonly used antivirus software. You should always keep an updated version of the antivirus software installed on your system. It is always advisable to keep a backup of your data on a secondary storage device. This keeps your data safe. Even if your computer faces a virus attack, email is the most common means of transferring virus, trojan, malware, etc. to your system. You should always run an antivirus scan for all the attachments attached to any email before saving it to your computer. While surfing the internet, you may come across several options. Be vigilant while selecting the appropriate option.
Take the help of your teacher or elders while making the selection. Protect yourself. Password is a safe way to prove your identity when using email accounts, e-banking, or your computer itself. You should always choose a strong password which cannot be cracked easily. Do not give your personal details to strangers over the internet which can prove to be harmful for you. You can meet a number of people on the internet. Many of them pretend to be what they are not. So, you should choose your friends carefully. Always check the validity of the website you are shopping from. Be extra careful when sharing your credit card details or while making payments online. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.